Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another edition of the Massachusetts Central Radio Show. I'm your humble host, Mike Kamok, here for another one of these. Um, yes, hello everybody, welcome back to my, um, to episode 40 uh, of the, of the radio show uh, since its inception in August. Um, yeah, I know that the episode count is kind of low guys usually you guys usually when i do an episode count for the year usually you guys expect me to be if you guys have been living under a rock and you guys have been oh remember you were at 10 12 oh, 10 12 at uh, in august technically um when i last finished in august i was on pace to be at I think I was on pace to be at, um, that was August 25th, um, or August 12th or something like that, or mid to late August, I probably had, well, it was 30 days in September, 30 days in October, 30 days in November, so that's 30, 60, 90, and 120. So I would have only have gotten to 1,000 and... Um, realistically, I would have only gone to like 1,000, 1,100 and like 12 or 15, somewhere around there. So I would have had around 300 or so. Um, yeah, I was doing so well, but I wanted to do something different. And the episode counts are going to be a little lower every year because this is only Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and I want to reiterate the reason why I did this is because things are changing around in the world and I don't want to be recording every night, so I'd rather give you guys content 15 minutes uh, three days rather than me do, I don't know, 40 minutes. Rather than me do five minutes every single day. You guys have to watch five. You guys have to slog through five minutes and then have me continue on. Uh, this actually gives me a chance to correct my thought, collect my thoughts and, you know, be able to... Uh, this is the first topic of of uh, why I've, um, you know, what the episode count's going to be like this year. Um, and, uh, you know, yeah, how everything is going to pan out, right, um, at the moment. So, um, uh, the reason why you guys are seeing a little bit more light in my face because my TV's on, I'm actually going to be playing a game probably in the next 15 minutes while I wait. 15, 20 minutes while I wait, uh, actually in 30 minutes while I wait for this thing to load up and do whatever because I got to watch it because the last couple of times I've done this, it hasn't loaded properly and I've actually had to reload it like three times, which kind of stinks. Um, I just want to say everybody, thank you for being around. Uh, thank you to the 38. The views have come up quite a bit. Uh, and as I said, little gains mean big. Um, uh, you know, I kind of expected things to be a little slow with the new format, so you guys have been easing me into this new format. You guys have been pushing me along. I think we're at 40 to 50, I think. Um, as I said, I don't want to be, as I, as I said, I don't think that, uh, um, I just, uh, I just don't, uh, I just don't think that I was going to be able to maintain 300, 300 a year because it was, it was good while it lasted and I just needed to, uh, reiterate that. Um, now that I've gotten the episode count out of the way and all, and all things like that, um, I wanted to get into the, uh, the meat and potatoes of this conversation. Um, so, I'm just going to give you guys a synopsis of what's happening. Um, so, well, at work, actually, because I can't, kind of feel like I kind of need to. I haven't talked about work in a while, so I think I'd, I was saving up, saving up, saving up. I don't want to talk about work. I don't want to talk about work. Because I don't want to uh, bore you guys with it. And, um, and, uh, so, recently what's been happening is, is we actually... 
uh, things have been quite slow um, and production is kind of down and that means hours are going to be down and that also means personnel aren't going to be around and performances are going to start to stink because there's literally no time to do anything so what usually happens this time of year is we usually have to go pretty quick and we can't really uh, do a lot of stuff because it gets annoying after a while when we have to sit around and talk and stuff but sometimes the conversation is actually appropriate because we actually need to talk see what's going on um, uh, my hours have been bouncing up and down like a yo-yo I've been bouncing between 25 and 30 hours which is not bad but it could be better um, uh, so uh, you know it's been quite the slog and um, and uh, we also have a new manager who, who I have to say is actually doing a very, very good job right now. Two weeks in to her tenure, and she's already doing very, very, very well. She's not. This is day. This is. Uh, she started February, uh, January twentieth. Uh, it is currently. Uh, February 5th so I believe she's been with us 16 days which is about two weeks and it's already pointing pointing out to be good and what I like about this one is uh, her um, I'm not gonna say the name I never seen the name on on screen just in case somebody knows the name um, but the, but this new manager she's really good she's really she's actually very um, she actually checks up on what's going on here. She actually wants to see what's going on. And she is visibly uh, not not happy with some of the procedures. And she wants to correct them. Uh, do I think that's good? Yes. Um, do I think that means things will change and things will ratchet up? Uh, <laughs> yes, they will. And I think that's good. And I think this is the first time. And I think... Two months, I think I can say that we're, we're finally going to have some order in the uh, in the place. So after a month of not having a manager, this is actually very good. And we actually made some very, very positive progress today uh, with our work. And we actually don't feel like we're slogging along anymore, which is great. Um, and, you know, uh, and they're starting to figure out who's going to produce who's going to who's going to stay and who needs to be there less and less so that they can concentrate on good ones and because my hours have been bouncing up and around they're trying to they're trying to experiment a little which isn't bad um and with the hours so low I think it might be kind of good I've been getting hours anyway so I'm not completely um so I'm not completely bummed um currently right now the way the way things are is um, they're trying to so production wise I'm actually doing very good there's some days where I'm mostly doing preparation putting stuff away rather than doing stuff but I'm always trying to do three four vehicles just before I leave and um, and, and I think that's gonna increase as things go on and as we start getting the personnel back we'll actually be able to put our numbers up and our hours will go, will go up as well um uh so and uh things are going on well that um i will have to mourn the death of one thing though and that is the 40 hour mark that april usually gets that officially ended that officially is going to end next week actually because she i think she said she was getting like 26 hours something like that but I think though she's trying to get some she's in the process of getting something else and putting something together outside uh, outside uh, work because um, uh, and she's been talking to me about this a long time but I think she's going to use these opportunities to uh, strengthen uh, her new opportunities and um, and hopefully, at some point in the next couple of months get out of, of the retail business because it's it, it she's been doing well but uh, not to the satisfactory standards of 
what they want versus what I want um, and what everybody else wants. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, she's trying to fight all this stuff that she's dealing with. Um, and there's a manager at work that really doesn't see eye to eye with her. She actually doesn't manage it. Actually, it's a manager that doesn't see eye to eye with the rest of us. Um, and it's the same guy who uh, took her hours down to down to the red. Um, uh, and uh, uh, you know, um, but that's slowly that's slowly going behind us, and we're starting to push forward. We're starting to forget about that because. Um, yeah, you're going to make mistakes. It's a professional thing. It's going to happen. I think I've seen worse happen there over the last... Um, I think I've seen worse happen over the last 11 years I've been there. So um, it's not the biggest thing I've heard of. I think I've heard worse. Uh, I think the worst thing I heard of was maybe a relationship or two that got, that got started between team members and it started jeopardizing problems and, uh, you know... Um, and I don't think it's it, the situation we're in is is recoverable. I don't think we should be taking taking uh, dramatic measures. I don't think we should be turning this into a Hollywood production because uh, when things get bad, people tend to do that, and I don't do that because I don't think it's fair to my teammates for me to do that. Being an 11 year veteran, I don't like to do that. I just like to act plain, even though some people are annoyed by that. Um, I don't think it's um, I don't think it's uh, it's a crime to act like a typical human being, actually. So and people kind of kind of find it offsetting that there's no seriousness in my voice, and, and it's because you know it, it, you know I'm there usually six seven o'clock in the morning. I usually don't get too rambunctious that early in the morning because I kind of want to start my day off very very light, and you know I I eventually uh, increase my performance and I do what I need to do. Um, you know, I don't like to really get all animated as much. I don't really like to swear. I don't like to cuss. It's just not the way I was brought up and it's not the way I want to run it because I will let everybody kick and scream. <laughs> I will not kick and scream because it is horrible. I'm not going to be with the pack. I'm not going to be with the pack, you know, uh, and everything. So, um, so yeah, her always went down. But I think she's got a new arrangement going on, and uh, she's getting ever so closer, which is great. It's very slow; it's slowly coming to fruition. But I think she'll she'll get she'll get it because, to be honest, the work, the amount of work she's put in um, has been phenomenal. I just think that the I think that she's just running out of energy, and you know, it's her time. She needs to she needs to move to something else and get get her energy back. She's already thrown enough energy. I think she's done, I, I think recovery-wise and effort-wise, I think she's done way better than way better than anybody could have expected. Uh, I think she's on par to what I expected. And I think she'll continue to grow um, despite some obstacles and everything else. So, yeah. Um, so that's the situation at work. We're on a positive streak now, so and things are good. Um... And I'm actually there more often than most of the people. So that's even better. So I'm fighting for position. I actually I think my production is is good if not better than most of the people there. But anyway. Uh I also wanted to say this. Um I know this is um I um Tom's mom uh had to um had to go in uh, to, uh, I wanted to say uh, a prayer for, and my thoughts go to Tom's mom, Allison Gill, because she's currently, uh, she's, uh, she, she went to, um, she went to a, a medical screening today uh, for of some sort. I'm not going to reveal on screen what that is, but I just want to tell Tom, Allison, um, I, I hope everything went well, and I hope you guys got the answer what you what you guys were looking for, and I hope it was positive. But if but if the news, I, I'm always hoping that the best outcome comes and happens, and I will just pray. And I just pray, and my thoughts are out to you guys. I think I've been praying the whole day 
technically because Allison, my friend Tom's mom, is probably one of the best. Um, out of all the my mom's, out of all my friends' mothers, probably one of the best. Probably one of the best. So uh, I hope I, I wish. I wish that her screening and the results came up to what um, came back negative, um, and um, they have, uh, and they can move forward and everything. Because I always want the best and everything. So hopefully, Tom, when you when we talk next, um, hopefully I can hear what happened, and um, we'll go from there. But I hope. But I hope everything. But I hope. But I wished your mom luck and everything, and uh, prayed for her deeply, because um, I never want anything bad to happen to my friends, um, my friends relatives. Because you know, growing up, that was probably one. Of, that was probably one of the most interesting households to actually go and visit as a friend, whether it be a sleepover or just during the day or just for a day thing. Um, it was always fun, so and it was always good. For, and Allison's hospitality, uh, hospitality, um, Tom's mom is probably some of the best. So uh, it reminds me of the hospitality that my mother gives to all our guests. Um, so uh, you know that's the reason why I call I call that the Gilkey household the home away from home. So um, so everything. So I hope the best of luck for that. And I hope the re the results turned out negative. So um, negative, and um, well, uh, and everything is all good, and that there's no big problem on the horizon. So, um, so yeah, um, and uh, Tom will probably be talking to you in the next couple of days. But yeah, I hope 100 percent that um, it's a false alarm, and you, know, you guys can move on. But you know, I'll have to wait and see what happened. Um, but we're feeling too much over the airwaves um, and everything. How many time am I at? I've been 17 minutes. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that because, Tom, I don't want anything bad to happen. Um, I hope the results don't... I hope the results come back... Sorry, I think I just heard something. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope. But yeah, I, uh, I as I said, I don't want to see anything bad happen to my friends, and um, and I, I hope my prayers. Hope my prayers helped, cause uh, you know it. You know, Tom has enough to deal with in his life, but you know, whatever happens. Um, obviously, I'm obviously I'm gonna be there from whether whatever happens you know because we're buddies you know that's what i do and i try to make sure everybody wish for everybody's good health and everything because she is a great lady and um and great British lady so i just wish for her good health and make sure that she's all good because and i'll tell him uh, when we talk next hopefully hopefully he'll tell me the news um or you can tell me in the comment section if you're if you're comfortable. Um, one thing before I go, I think the last two minutes because I think this is gonna be like a twenty minute. Um, I just wanted to say, guys, thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for all the views. I love them to death. Um, it definitely has been. Uh, it definitely has been quite the acclamation. Uh, with what's going on lately and um, me trying to make sure that I'm getting my hours and everything. So now that you guys know what's going on, my hours were kind of low, so I didn't want to really, really sit here and record while things were going because I needed to kind of get my stuff straight. But I hope you guys understand and hopefully going forward, we'll be able to, rec I'll be able to record more. So, excuse me. So everybody, Mike Camo here. Um...
So everybody, uh, Mike Mo here um, for another uh, radio show episode, episode 40. Um, as usual, everybody, long live America, God bless America, long live democracy, long live um, our freedoms and our rights. Um, pray for my grandparents' spirits, pray for my grandmother, pray for Allison Gilkey and her for good health. Um, also for my friends, Tom, Megan, and April, let them overcome their obstacles and let the light guide them. Let the let that beaming shine of that beaming light shine and lead them through the darkness. Uh, everybody, Mike Mo here for another one of these for episode forty here on February fifth, um, two thousand and twenty. I will see you guys later. Thank you and good night. I will see you guys on Fridays. Episode, episode 41.